Kobe Bryant the most fraudulent superstar celebrity athlete we have ever seen. Because of his unique upbringing, he chose to be a knockoff rather than an original. Jason Whitlock, the phoniest man in sports media, has struck again. Antifa, to me, is the modern day KKK. Watch the inauguration speech. President Trump is speaking directly to you and all your friends. For Fox Sports. Oh. Yeah, he is also an overcooked chicken nugget. Everyone's least favorite sports writer showed his behind in a hilarious cell phone. They're not victims of an exploitive patriarchal tradition. American men led the world in granting freedom and autonomy to women. Blood in, blood out. Trump in, Trump out. A man who talks about women, family, and society in this way. There was a bit of a racial element to the pre-fight. I'm, I'm not so sure about that, though. You know, I'm not Go so ahead. sure there was no racism in the fight. I didn't say any. No, 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 no. Not racism, but like there was a racial element to the pre-hype, hyping the fight. They you great white hope versus black fighters, a traditional storyline. Yeah, but story we're all line. human beings. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, pink, or green. He's been torn to shreds by Tyson Fury. You told me not to twist your words or read too much into what you said, but being around young players energized you. That's not a statement about maybe you'd like to see some young players on your team. Wow. That, <laughs> you know what? That's a Bikram yoga stretch. You stretched the hell out of it. Good job. Good job. I'm not even going to answer that. That's just silly. Next. <laughs> and the late Kobe Bryant, who Whitlock, pre-hair plugs, criticized at every turn. The latest debacle? So great it might be the moment of the year and we're two days in. Let me explain. So Jason Whitlock. A man who has rubbed people the wrong way, not just in society, but also corporate heads, demands attention at every turn, especially through his social media accounts. And he got exactly what he asked for after tweeting, I'm looking at NFL standings on ESPN.com. This is the ad running above the standings. How is this possible? Appropriate? Jason, they're called targeted ads. You dope. You goober. Mm, this, this is so good. <laughs> this is delicious. <laughs> and it's January 2nd. It's the same idiotic school of thought that these dudes think is like, oh, Google's going woke. They're tweeting ads based upon their search history. It would out Benny Johnson, a member of Charlie Kirk's TP USA movement. Well, that was, you know, post-plagiarizing work for BuzzFeed. Media wrote of the Whitlock debacle that it may or may not have been a birthday card. Was he searching for birthday cards? No, he'd clarify he was not. And he took a picture of the screen with his phone. He said, I'm looking at standings on ESPN.com. This is the ad running above the standings. How is this possible? Appropriate? The ad in question uh, was a card that said, Balls Deep Inside of Me is a Great Way to Spend Your Birthday. Mm. A nice, fun little birthday card. Um, as many people have pointed out, those ads are based on your search history. Mm -hmm. They're cookies, something what? that Jason Whitlock is intimately familiar with. Wasn't there more on the description of like what? It was like great gifts for your boyfriend or your partner. It's a, a one pack, funny, happy birthday, him, husband, boyfriend, birthday gifts, decorations. Yeah. That's what the, the, the rest of it is cut off. Um, and it's got the shop now button right on there. So um, the internet has very politely answered his question about how it, it's possible. Uh, but Jason Whitlock has yet to tweet about uh, any sort of reaction to the advice he's been getting. Ooh. Okay. Just remember, clear that browsing history, Jason. Yeah, that's I love when that happens. That's an old school thing. Like that hasn't happened yeah. in a long time. That was I remember when when Google Ads first came on the scene. Even the guys at Part of My Take joined in on the fun, as Whitlock does when he is in the wrong, which is every second. He never admits fault. What he does is double down, triple down, quadruple down, defend himself. I, I can't be wrong. It, it's it's Google, that's the problem. I, I can't be wrong. I, I need to tell you about what it's like to have the American dream of a family. Wait a minute. I don't have a family. I, 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 don't, I'm, I don't have kids. But I'm going to tell you how you should handle your kids. 
They can rig up a million algorithms, he would write, and pay aggregators across the globe to write stories smearing me. I do not care. I won't stop. You think I'm the only one occasionally getting hit with hyper-sexualized advertising? If all it takes is searching the wrong thing or clicking the wrong link or criticizing favorite groups, I made an enemy of ESPN and the Alphabet Mafia that controls Disney powerful enemies. Oh, yes, it's the Alphabet Mafia. Not me searching for chicks getting felt up and getting filled to the brim. Yeah, Jason. Yeah, Jason. We're not this stupid. We're not. I love this. I love all of this. Not just that he's like, uh, uh, I'm wrong, but uh, family values, no crap, that isn't working. Um, Alphabet Mafia. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> ESPN. Like he is a caricature of what a right-wing troll is, especially when he's borrowing the talking points from one Ben Shabibo. Whitlock then likened the sexual ad to the NFL showing rappers throwing up gang signs and rapping about drugs. Nothing justifies that, he continued. We mainstream porn, visual and lyrical in every way possible. We don't even bat an eye. We've accepted it. I'm going to complain about it. Quick aside here, Jason. Just a quick question for you, if you don't mind me asking real quick. So you don't like the facts that we have visual porn, as you said, somehow equating you searching a woman taking sea shots to the NFL and, you know, Jay-Z putting on Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Dumb. But let's just try to be a little consistent here with your own line of thinking. So visual porn, that's bad. So you condemn Melania Trump. So you condemn... The former first lady going bare ass spread eagle in a magazine, right? So she should be canceled for it, right? That's what you're saying. Got to come down hard on this stuff. <laughs> Don't search that, by the way. You might get targeted with more ads. We need to have some sort of justification. What about Melania? She did porn. Where is the outrage? That's right. There is none. Because it would hurt your brand. And it would hurt your deal with Gwen Beck's The Blaze. He calls Kobe Bryant the most fraudulent superstar. This is the most fraudulent member of media right here. Jason Whitlock. Again, giving us the moment of 2024 that we didn't know we needed. Then he would go on to say, the other side is going to blame me for complaining and say I brought it on myself. No one will ask why. May See, this is, this is hilarious. I'm just going to leave that up there. He also used the R word. Corporate grooming. Right, aside from using terrible language, as a writer, I would hope one wouldn't stoop to that level. But considering it's Jason Whitlock, it's already starting below the floor. Yet, if we're going to follow the grooming aspect, there were logs of a history of airplanes going up and down in the sky, if you catch my drift. Who was featured on those logs, Jason? That would be the man that you sold out even more than you already did for. That would be the former president, Donald Trump, who you defend to a T. What about the grooming aspect there? I continue to think that there is no low he could stoop more towards and reach. And yet he does. 